and you know other people that have lost maybe houses and position in the storm. But by faith, I seen you this morning gave me tremendous joy in my heart to see this young man jump up and down here praising God, you know, despite the circumstances, just praising God. And that's what the Lord wants us to do, just stay in faith, praise Him, and the breakthrough is coming. A breakthrough is come. And the Lord of the breakthrough, called Bel Perazim, the Lord of the breakthrough. You have it, have it get a sign, put Bel Perazim up there and okay. say, the Lord of the breakthrough. And you are the breakthrough generation. Amen? Amen. You're the breakthrough generation. The Lord of the breakthrough. And then on, with, on the other side, you can put Mahul Shalal Aspas, which means the Lord shall destroy your enemies. Mahul Shalal Aspas. And you'll find that in uh, Isaiah 8, verse 1, I think. It was Isaiah's son. He prayed for his son, and God told him to call him Mahul Shalal Aspas, which means the Lord shall destroy your enemies. And if you put that one side, and then Baal Perez on the other side, you, you can win every battle with that. Right. Just with that. <laughs> okay? Wow. Praise God. <coughs> All right. Well, I do have a word for you this morning. And uh, believe it or not, this word was put together before the storm. <laughs> Before I go, very very uh, no. Ah, uh, ako lang gusto isulti ninyo nga nalimpasyag na po nga sa dihang nag praise and worship ta nagkanta tas mga lugton diya sa pag uh, dahil sa ginoo bisan pa si Jaja ja, uh, nag ambak diya sa kalipay bisan na ibaluta nga doon ay mga pangitabo sa atong mga kaisunan amen apan dili ka tumakapugong sa atong paglipay diya sa ginoo amen o ganit ningan siya nga kung pwede ko no mabutangan na to diya maher siya lalas bas nga but pa sabot Ah, uh, nga magpadaugon ta batok sa ato mga kaaway. O build for us him dire nga ah, uh, what do you mean by that? Build for us him. The Lord is the right truth. Oh, uh, ang uh, ang Dios may maghatag kanato og kadaugan nga makalingkawas gyud ta sa tanan nga mga uh, pagsulay sa kinabuhi. Now, nakaduog ta og naka experience si Sister Erlinet, Ban Bay Ryan nga ang ilang bag-o mga pinalit nga mga appliances. Pagkurugid ka ayaw, pagkadagoy si Mana, uh, nadala na sa baha, apan importante nga sila na safe. Amen? Hallelujah. Kati ang pangis ka maong manglangoy ko, no? Okay. Huwag nakita nila dito kuno dito sa lawod, uh, o dito sa dagat nga, daghang tong namunit kuno dito mga nangaluna o nangaanod, o daghang nangalipay, apan daghang pong nangagol tong mga tagiya at to, labi na tong nang, nangakuhaan yun sa kinabuhi. Apan uh, matod pa niya na agay katuyuan ng Diyos. Amen? Sa tanang pangita po sa atong kinawi. Amen? Uh, I got a message here that I put together uh, before the storm. And uh, I'm just going to take a few little bits and pieces as we go. Um, Let me explain, first of all, a uh, concept of, uh, of the way God works. Now, some people say the Lord works in mysterious ways. But, uh, oh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, some people say the Lord works in mysterious ways. But it's only mysterious to those people who don't know the word of God. If you know the word of God, then you will know the will of God. Okay. There's a little story I'm going to tell about uh, um, the farmer who planted uh, almond trees. So we, we, what do you call a person who requires a magic farm? What do you call a person who grows almond trees? Uh, 
tawag ba dyan yun anang tao nga uh, nagpatuko og mga fruit trees? The owner of the orchard. Oh, ma orchard. Owner. We call him master, but yun. Okay. Okay, so basta kay so, na siya ipatuko ng mga so, tanong. The, the master of the orchard, he looks at all his little trees that he planted. So ang mga mag-uumang na kapatubo ni Ining Maong nga na kalinlain ng mga fruit trees na ngayang ipanglanta itong iyang mga bagong ipangtanong na bagagmay pang mga kahoy. And he looked at one particular tree which was growing tall and straight. Iyan na kwenta ng usa kabuok tanong nga na 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 lahi na ganyan tungon kay siya ni Tubo man nga taas na kaayo o medyo magkos ganon kini. And he spoke unto this tree That was tall and straight. And said, "You are exactly what I'm looking for." So, in the mind of this tree, he's thinking, "I am pleasing the master." So I'm going to grow tall and straight. Maona na motubo ayo ko nga taas o kusgan. And I'm going to please the master. Aron ako makapahalipay sa akong agalo. The master came around with fertilizer. Unya ang agalo ni ato dito o siya gibutangan o mga abono. And he watered the plants. O kaya kining giayo o pagatiman niya mo mahan. And said, "Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for." Oh, maugid ni ang kahoy ng akong gipangita. He's tall and straight. Oh, kiniyan ka kaso nung yung ka kusgon, ka kusganong. As this almond tree says, "I'm pleasing the master." Manang nalipay ug sa mo ang maong kahoy ng siya ako gayon magpanakapalipay gayon sa akong agalo. I'm going to stretch taller than everybody else. Maoda ang kinanglang yung kung tulit gayon ug mo tubo gayon ko sa akong kadakpon. I'm going to be the best tree that. In this orchard. Aron ako mahimo gayud ang pinakamaayo nga kahoy sa tagtibok nga mga tanang katao atang natanaman. I'll grow tall and straight. Aron ako mga kuto bok gayud nga taas ug kusgan gayud. And so the master come around the next time, looks again and says, "Oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for." Oh, mao nga sa diyan pagduol na po sa mao nga ganon niya siya mao gayud de ang kahoy nga ako ng ipangita gayud. And so the almond tree decided that I'm going to grow bigger and taller than all the rest of them. Ma ang maong almond tree nakaza decision kaya nyo kinalang yung kung matako mo taas o makus ganon kayo. And I'm going to please the master. Aron makapahimot yung kus ako ng agalon. So he's growing. Na kasiyan ni dako kayo. Taller than all the rest. Oh, dako na kaya nyo kayo kayo. All the other ones was left behind. Oh, ang mga uban ng mga tanong taon ubo kayo. This almond tree is growing tall. Apan ang almond tree pwede na yung taasa. And he's saying, I am pleasing the master. Oh, niya siya hagay na kapahimot yung ko sa akong agalo. And the master says, This is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, ang mga agalo ni mao chud ning kahuya ng akong gipangita. And he said, Tomorrow, you can cut off. You know, when you grow a tree, you cut off. Ah, kung magpatubo na ikaw kahoy ang braton na inay mo na ilang panguhaan o mga sana, aron nga siya mutubo o taas. They call that pruning. O gitawag na o pag-pruning ang sanas binisaya. Okay. It's full on. Okay. Thank you. So the other trees that got left behind, they would be a fruit. Ah, gan mga uban ng mga kahoy nga nuna kayo magkatubo na mga sab. They had plenty of almonds on the tree by this time. Ah, uh, the, the other trees had plenty of almonds on the tree. Oh, almond nuts. Ah, uh, the the fruit you mean? Yeah. Okay, so do na na mga bunga. But this particular tree had no fruit because it's been pruned and it's growing tall. Oh, kaniyang mga kahoy yan ang taas kayo. Kaya gipulungan man siya wala siya makapamunga apan ni taas kung siya sabo. And the master says, "You are exactly what I'm looking for." I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, okay, so I come and get an cow. I'm going to bring it up. Oh, my, my body, go. Then he cuts him off. Oh, no, 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 no,
How can I please the master now that I'm cut off? How can I please the master now that I'm cut off? How can I produce any fruit at all? And so the master said, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for, and took the skin off him. And put him out in the midday sun to dry out. What? <laughs> took the skin off him, and put him out in the midday sun to dry out. And then, when he dried out, he polished him up, Made it look varnished in, made it look really nice. And used him as a staff. Oh, as a walking stick, staff, yeah, staff. Okay. And so, he said, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, my brother Aaron was going to love this. So he, he was grown for to be a rod unto Aaron. Aaron was the high priest. Brother of Moses. And uh, what happened then is uh, the almond tree decided, well, I'm not called to produce fruit. Ngi <laughs> So then there was a, a squabbling, a commotion amongst the, the other priests. And they said, you only chose this man to be high priest over us because he's your brother. And uh, so he asked God what he is to, to do. And so they said, God said, Go and put all their staffs before me, all their walking sticks, put them before me. You'll see this in Numbers 17, 8 and 9. So, God said to Moses now he said the, the, the one that blossoms even though the, this almond tree rod was cut off from the roots that's why in the natural way of thinking could never produce fruit again. But when God wants to speak, he'll, he'll cause a dry rod to bear fruit. So even when there's no way in God, there's always the answer, Jesus. Amen. Jesus will cause you to bear fruit. Even if you're not planted in the right place. Amen. 
Even if you're not being fertilized anymore. Bisan pagani gula kita maabunong ay kaayo. And uh, and you cut out. So ikaw gibutol man gani. And you're doing a job for God. Apan sa day ikaw nagabuhat sa buhaton sa Dios. It cause you to bear fruit. Ikaw gayud magapamunga kay ang Dios magasugo man nga ikaw mamunga. If you're the doorman, it cause you to bear fruit. Kung bisan may mong trabaho diya mahimo ka ng mga kapamunga. If you're the cleaner, it'll cause you to clean. Misan pag ikaw tagip nagtaghinlo ra mahimo kang magamit sa Ginoo. Does it matter what job you do? Bisa pag unsay imong trabaho mahimo ang Dios magagamit kanimo. If you do it for God. Kung kada imong gibuhat alang sa Ginoo. It'll cause you to be fruitful. Mahimo nga ikaw mabungahon bisag unsa pa ang imong buhaton. And so uh, when they squabbling amongst themselves, he chose Aaron's rod. To bear fruit. Mawala na ang Diyos na kapili kayo ni Adtong kasungkod ni Aaron Aaron kini maga pamunga. So all the priests bear witness that it was Aaron's rod. O kang tanang kaparihan na kakita kayo, binagi silang mga mata na ang kang Aaron na mga sungkod ang namunga, namunga. So it's Aaron's rod that bore fruit and he proved that he was the chosen one to lead the other. Magmaula nga itong mailhan dahil nga pinaagi na itong sinyalis sa ginoo ti mailhan nga si Aaron gayod mo ay gipili sa ginoo. And so, my message today Magmaula nga itong mensahe karong anong adlawa Will you be a horse for God? Kung ikaw mahimo ang nga kabayo sa Diyos. It's an unusual title, isn't it? Usa ko na ka... Dili sa yun, o dili ka ayaw pamilyar nga. Title, Will you be a horse for God? Pwede mag ikaw mahimong kabayo sa Diyos? Will you be a vehicle for the glory of God? O mahimo ba ikaw nga galamitun? Aron mahimo ka nga makahatag o kahimayaan sa Diyos. Even if you seem to be cut off. O bisan pag imong pagtong nga ikaw na yun na hot nga at daw na wala na yun ka sa bulhaton. And people would say to you, you not bear fruit. Kaya mayo na ang tao kani mo motulis o kani mo ikaw na kahinungdan ka di na ka magapamunga. They might say, you fellowship in the wrong place. O ganyan na nagdiguro mga katawahan nga ikaw na adiha sa sayok nga lugar. O you do the wrong thing. O nagabuhat makagdi mao nga pagkabuhaton. Whatever it is that people say. O go sa may insulti sa mga katawahan. They say it won't work. Di ka na mo ipikto niya ka ninyo. But in God, everything works out fine. Apan niya sa ginoo ang tanang butang doon na gawin mahitabo alam ka ninyo. Everything bears fruit. Bisan pa ako ni Kao wala ka na kainon nga wakan na munga. Okay, atong basahan na yung sunabirin yung mga Biblia.